Today on the channel, it's new Marvel Legends time with Civil Warrior and AI Tony Stark. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for a new week of Marvel Legends reviews, and it all starts here with uh, Civil Warrior and AI Tony Stark, aka Iron Man. But remember, for all your Marvel Legends needs and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below, and you can get these figures right now at Big Bad Toy Store if you are interested, so pick them up if you need them. But uh, we're starting a new wave of Marvel Legends today. The new Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi, he's Shang-Chi to me, so that's what I'm going to call him. The Shang-Chi wave is out in full force. The movie doesn't come out till later this fall, but the figures are everywhere. Big Bad Toy Store, of course, Targets, Walmarts, they're all over the place right now. So if you're interested, pick them up uh, while you can, I'm sure. Uh, from early intel, from my figure hunting, I think the movie characters, we might have some peg warmers. Uh, it'll be interesting. Peg warm through the summer, but once the movie hits, I think they'll all clean up pretty fast. However, we start the week of reviews with the two non-movie characters from the wave. Iron Man, AI, and then we get a gamer verse from the, uh, what is it, Conquest of Champions? Yeah, Contest of Champions. Not familiar with the game at all, but uh, a game reverse figure and a traditional Marvel Legends figure uh, sandwiched in as well as a comic build a figure in Mr. Hyde in this wave. So what we're going to do this week on the channel, obviously we'll do this video today. Tomorrow we'll have uh, some of the movie characters. We'll do another day of movie characters. And then we'll have a final day where I rank the whole thing in order of my favorite to least favorite. And we will build the build a figure in that video as well. So we'll have a couple of days of the Shang-Chi Wave unboxing here on the channel. So now is the time to subscribe. Today is the time. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel, turn your notifications on, like the video while you're at it. And uh, you guys know we have Marvel Legends every single series unboxed. We got wrestling, Star Wars, you name it, everything under the sun about at this point. And uh, we're going to continue on with that uh, for the foreseeable future, we'll just call it. But today, we're unboxing these two. and We're going to start unboxing with the Civil Warrior game time decision and we'll do it like we normally do it we're going to take a look at the packaging first and then we'll uh, talk about it unbox it talk about it see where it goes from there so here it is that game reverse type packaging we've seen it before a lot of iron man's a lot of captain america's in those sets uh, but there it is right here so you can see in the packaging kind of got a yellow background with the white box a little bit of purple graphics for the civil warrior name here Con conquest i keep wanting to say conquest contest of champions is i believe a mobile game uh, i do not play that uh, you get the mr hyde head from the build a figure you got the shield which is a new shield and then you got the civil warrior figure there uh this is remake uh, reuse of the hydra supreme uh, soldier figure that we got uh oof, years ago now in a two-pack i believe it was so we'll compare those two in the video like we normally do. When uh, we have videos, uh, we compare a lot of stuff, and that's what we'll do with this one as well. On the side there, you got cool glamour shot. Contest Champions down below. Same thing on the other side. Got that Contest of Champions logo up top. Legal fun down below, and then, of course, the back. So there is the back. You got the Shang-Chi wave, the Mr. Hyde Build-A-Figure, which is a deep cut Build-A-Figure. We'll get into him a whole lot more down the line in uh, later in the week. Uh, and then you got the big glamour shot. And then you got a little blurb to the side. So I always appreciate the blurb. I always appreciate the uh, listing of who else is in the wave. Makes total sense to me. Kudos, Marvel Legends team at Hasbro. Let's read the back, see what it says about the old Civil Warrior. In an alternate Earth ravaged by Civil War, Captain America assumes the mantle of Civil Warrior. There you go. Pretty simple. Pretty simple uh, explanation there. So I don't know. Uh, obviously... I'm not uh, attached to this. I don't play the game. I don't know anything about it. However, you can't not get this because you need Mr. Hyde's head. So I know a lot of Marvel Legend collectors out there are not completists like myself. They don't buy every single one. And I understand the build-a-figure frustrations you have with those. Uh, I think it's an ingenious tool. It makes people buy everything when maybe they would have passed on it before. It also makes the secondary market of the build-a-figures pretty high. Uh, Mr. Hyde, I think, is selling for over $100 uh, built together right now. 
It's an interesting way because a lot of people maybe do not want the movie figures. There's a lot of people that collect only comics. There's a lot of people that collect only movie. There's some that go both ways, like myself. I used to only collect the comic figures. And then maybe two years ago, I said, you know what? I'm going to get the movie ones. And I went back, picked up the majority, almost every single one, I think. Uh, I'm not 100% complete on Marvel Legends, but I'm pretty close. Uh, there's just a few I'm missing out there. Uh, that I passed on, and I have no no reason to go back and get them because better versions have been made uh, lately. So that's that's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. All right, let's open up the old Civil Warrior. If I can get him open, what are we doing here? Come on, there it is. Very uh, bland yellow background. I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. But there it is. See you later. Up high. All right, plastic prison time. There he is, the old Civil Warrior. Mr. Hyde's head in there in the shield like we talked about. All right, let's pop it out here. There it is. There it is. See you later. Whoa, almost hit the screen. Mr. Hyde, holy cow. He has got some blood shed, blood, blood shot, blood shed eyes, blood shot eyes and some, uh, needs to see some dental work there. Uh, bloodshot eyes it is allergy season my allergies are killing me the last few weeks so uh, i sympathize with mr hyde i'm sure it's not drugs it's allergies getting him uh, just like me so there's mr hyde right there put him to the side for later all right now we can turn our full attention to the civil warrior here let's look at the shield first this shield is different we have never had this shield in the past so i do appreciate that something new in here uh, somebody might say, hey, I want this for a different Captain America shield. Also, the interior of the shield, totally different as well. So it's got some uh, sculpting to it and stuff. So I like this a lot. It also can uh, turn. You can put it on his uh, wrist. Or it's got the hole. Is that for his back? No. Nope. I guess you can just hold it like that. So you got two options of how you want to have the shield on this figure. So that, that's cool. I like the shield. It, it looks cool. It's very gamer-verse, almost Iron Man-esque right here. And like I said, I don't know the game, so maybe that's part of the game. But that's what it reminds me of. Now, the Civil Warrior, the first thing I notice is the great colors on this one. The head and the chest plate really pop with that blue. Got a little bit of darker blue down here onto the thighs, which is interesting. I would have probably preferred the same color tones. But it looks really good, and then the red outline on the star on his chest is really cool as well. And then I love the red hands to kind of really bring some more color. It really, really does pop on this one. I also like the the kind of ribbing on the thighs of kind of the armor. I guess it's not armor, but his suit. Uh, it's got that scale to it. I'm always Aquaman-esque is what I always think of when I see that. But it really does uh, draw attention. It really looks like it really pops out. And then you got the red down here at the ankles. I think that is a really cool touch as well. So... Uh, eye appealing figure very much even though if i don't know anything about it we do know it's you know captain america and all that fun stuff but i have no clue about anything else he does got the double jointed elbows which is cool and he also has elbow pads uh, very cool there huh double jointed knees no not quite not quite but a very solid figure once again it's is this the only captain america you need in your collection no but if you're deep into the line and if you need this figure to complete your build a figure for mr hyde I like this one more than I anticipated I would. I, mean, I remember when they announced this in the Marvel Legends stream, I just kind of groaned. I said, oh, not another game reverse figure, because I don't play any of the games. I'd love to. I just do not have time to play the games. Uh, but this one actually works really good. I can see as a kid, hey, I don't play the games, but you know what? Captain America's going on a special mission. Iron Man's helping him get a suit. Uh, that's kind of how my mind would go playing with these as a kid. Does he fit on the ringside collectible stands? I say it all the time. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. Ringsidecollectibles.com. Uh, use discount code Kyle. Save 10%. But I don't think he fits. He does not. His hole is too big in the foot. So that doesn't happen very often, but he does not fit. But you could put him on there, and he'll just kind of stand. No, he can't at all. He can't. Doesn't doesn't work at all. So ringside stand, no good for the uh, Civil Warrior here but a solid figure. Now let's grab out the Hydra Supreme, which this is kind of based on. Uh, very similar here. Taking it in, you got the same heads. The coloring is just different. You got the green and gold going on with this one. A lot of the same stuff, but a little thing's different. He's got kind of that Iron Man thing on the back. It's on this one, but it's colored in differently here. Uh, it's pretty much all reuse across the board. Different hands on this one. Different shield, obviously. But not bad. I don't know which one I like better. I, 
I like the Oakland A's colors on this guy. You guys know I'm an A's fan. But I like the Civil Warrior as well. The blue really pops. Blue being my favorite color. Captain America being one of my favorite uh, comic, art, comic uh, book characters of all time, of course. So very solid. I think there's room for both. I always love repaints when you can tell they're the same, but they're totally different, different characters. Uh, so yeah, you pick and choose here. You tell me which one do you like better. It's pretty close for me, but this Captain America is a lot better than I thought it would. Even though I have no connection to this character, I still really do like it. I like the all the stuff we talked about, the coloring differences across the board. So very solid on this. Don't sleep on this one. You need the Mr. Hyde head anyways. Pick up this one. Enjoy it in your collection. Go to Big Bad Toy Store. Link in the description below. Pick this guy up. It's worth it. And the Hydra Supreme, he's good too. So pick him up as well if you don't already have him. So there it is. There's Civil Warrior. Now let's take our attention to Iron Man, Tony Stark. All right, next up in this Marvel Legends Shang-Chi wave is the comic book edition, Tony Stark, AI Tony Stark. And of course, uh, Iron Man is how we know who he is. Comes with the Build-A-Figure piece as well. Don't forget about Mr. Hyde. Uh, very interesting. He's got the holographic AI head. It's hologram week this week on the channel. If you guys follow along with my daily Star Wars unboxings, we're going to be doing holographic transmission figures all week long. Uh, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in Star Wars. And I guess Tony Stark wanted to be a part of the party with his AI head to fit on in with that. So very interesting times in the holographic AI transmission world. But there he is. There's Tony Stark. Now, once again, just like that Civil Warrior, I remember when it was announced, I said, oh, I don't really want another Tony Stark. I don't need this one. It doesn't do anything for me. But getting it in hand is a whole different story. I love the coloring on this one. This really does remind me of the late 80s when I was getting into comic books. Obviously, I'd go to comic book stores. I'd buy the current issues. But then there'd always be the back issues from back in the day, the 70s, the early 80s stuff. And I remember looking through a lot of comics, and I remember seeing Iron Man looking a lot like this uh, from back in the day with the more brighter yellows. Uh, you know, I, I want to say you can never have too many Iron Mans, but you can. I mean, some of those Game Reverse ones, stuff like that, I didn't really quite enjoy. But this one looks a lot better in person than I thought it was. And just like Civil Warrior, I was not excited for this at all when it was announced. But I'm, I'm turning around. I'm turning around a little bit. We'll see uh, once I unbox it what I think about it. Uh, but we'll see. But he's got the Iron Man logo there. You got uh, T AI Tony Stark. You got an extra set of hands. You got an extra head. So if you don't want to be all in on AI... I'm not sure which way I'm going to go with this one. I'm not sure if I really want the AI version being shown. I think I might be good with the old school one. Uh, this is also based on the 80th edition Iron Man figure. Uh, same kind of mold. So we'll compare those just like we compared the Hydra Supreme and the Civil uh, Warrior in the prior segment here. So there's the front there. You got the AI Tony Stark. It does look really good on the side, though. I got to admit that looks really good with the hologram transmission. We're looking at these Star Wars ones from like 20 years ago, and this is definitely better looking than those. Uh, same thing on that side as well. Got the Iron Man logo on the top. We haven't seen that in a long time. Warnings. And then you got the back. There's Mr. Hyde. There's the rest of the Shang-Chi way. There's some warnings and stuff. We got a little blurb to the side, and then there's a big glamour shot right there, which we love. Let's see what it says about old AI Tony Stark. After a tragic battle, Tony Stark lives on in digital form as a hologram at the helm of a high-powered robotic suit of armor. Now, I vaguely remember this. I haven't been reading comics in a long time, and I think I remember something about that story arc where he kind of died and he was trapped in like a computer. Something to that effect. If you want, fill me in in the comments. Maybe uh, fill out the story for the rest of us. Uh, but very interesting. No paint problems on this one that I can see so far, but we'll see once we open it up. He does have the uh, the repulsor hand so he can shoot out stuff. So if you want to go different ways with this figure, you can. It looks like he's got a leg piece for the Mr. Hyde Build-A-Figure. So, All right, let's open him up. Let's see what all the fuss is about in the Iron Man world. I really like this blue background. It looks like a little bit of a laboratory back there. That is pretty neat. I like that blue. It really does pop against that red of the Iron Man name. See you later up high. How about a little plastic prison action? There he is in the prison of plastic. Looking only like he can look. Very cool. You can, from the back of his head, you can see the peg for the AI thing, which that, that looks a little suspect, but uh, we'll see. We'll see once we unbox it. Pull everything out here. The pulsers. Effects. Effects, we'll call them. There it is. And... See you later. Goodbye.
All right, so we got extra hands. We've seen these before many a times, these hands. Uh, very cool. I love that they shoot out. I mean, I, I do like that. I think this is one you could go back to the well to many times if you want because it, it works every time for me, for especially for Iron Man figures. Uh, you got the Mr. Hyde leg. There he is. Looks like a right leg. Right leg. So remember, the last video of the week where we recap and I put these in order of my favorite to least favorite, we will also build the build-up figure. So be ready for that. This is the first Iron Man helmet I really do remember seeing. Uh, so I do like this as well. I'm not sure which way I'm going to go. I like the feel of this figure, though. Uh, for sure I do. Very good feeling figure. No paint application issues. It's got a, a nice sheen to the yellow, like a, a smooth plastic to the yellow. Boy, guys, I really like this one a lot. And actually, this AI head, you could technically pop this off. Use this on a different Iron Man if you want. My brain right now is going to maybe that blue, white, or red Gamerverse uh, Tony Stark. Maybe popping one of those heads off and seeing if I can put this head on instead. And then using this classic head on this one. Because I really do like this Iron Man. It really does bring me back to the to the good old days, as some may say, of Iron Man. At least for my uh, childhood growing up. Very solid. Not a paint application issue anywhere. I really like the blue. That really baby blue, light blue in here in his chest really makes that red and yellow pop. Uh, very old school yellow. You just don't see this yellow color very much anymore. Uh, very solid figure. Very lightweight. This head sculpt is pretty cool. This AI head sculpt, hologram head sculpt. I don't know. Let's see if I can pop it off, maybe. There it goes. Plug and play. Pop this new one on. Oh, my gosh. There it is. Fight me. I don't know, guys. I really like this Iron Man. This is kind of my Iron Man. This is what I think of a lot. Uh, we have the 80th anniversary Iron Man, which is this is based off of very, very much the same figure. Just repainted a little bit differently. A lot of people were going crazy for this one. Really liked this one, and I did as well. And I still do like this one. Uh, but something about the yellow and the reds on this one really brings me back. Uh, it just hits you in the old nostalgia feels, as we always say. Uh, so I do like this one. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? We know the Civil Warrior did not. But old Tony Stark AI, he's coming through. He fits perfectly on that ringside collectible stand. Say it all the time. Spend your money on your figures, not your stands. Ringsidecollectibles.com. Use discount code KYLE. Save 10%. The stands are the best value. They really are. They're very versatile. Boy, but this Iron Man, this is going to be tough to beat. When I rank all these in order... I really do like this Iron Man. I like the Civil Warrior too, uh, but this Iron Man is, is pretty pretty awesome. There's a lot of reuse. You can do some different stuff with this head if you want to. Very cool. You get the blast effects as well. So for making the most out of reuse, both of these figures that we looked at today, both reuse figures, Hasbro getting the most out of their molds. and you got to appreciate that because it is a business at the end of the day, and they put enough changes and enough things that are different that some people won't even know they're being rehashed, and others will say, hey, I like the color variations here. I need both these Iron Mans. I, I, I uh, reflect back, and I like both of these Iron Mans. There's people out there that way too, so it's a very, very smart business move on Hasbro's part. But you guys tell me, are you picking up these two? Are you picking up this wave? Are you going to stay tuned for the movie characters? What are your thoughts on this latest Marvel Legends wave? It was a very interesting wave as it wasn't officially announced. Basically, it was a terribly kept secret. Then they announced it on a Monday when it hit the stores on Sunday with the street date. Uh, very interesting wave. But the movies and COVID and all that with the Black Widow wave, this wave really interesting for the figures I'll, I'll be really interested in that black widow when it hits the screens again later i think this summer uh what happens to uh, the figures are the figures going to come back out are they going to re-release another line what's the plan there and then i worry about shang chi i believe he's coming out in september is this just going to rot on the pegs for a while retailers come end of july are going to say hey, we got to clearance these out get rid of them then the movie's going to be released Maybe it'll be a huge hit. A lot of people will be all in. And then, what do you know? No figures to back it up. So, really interesting what COVID's done to some of these movies, these movie figure lines. Uh, really difficult times. I know it's not what Hasbro wants. I know it's not what Marvel wants as far as movies. Uh, Disney, I guess we'd call it. Uh, but very interesting times. But leave me your comments on these two figures. And stay tuned tomorrow for the next round of unboxings with these guys. Make sure you hit the old notification bell. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like the video. So for Iron Man and the Civil Warrior, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.